Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is my home office tour. I watch lots of home and office tours on YouTube, so I'm really excited to be making this kind of video for my own channel. I'm calling this super realistic because the room is made up of a mishmash of furniture acquired over time. There will be links to the furniture and other items down below in the description box. If I don't have a link, I'll list which store the item came from. If something is not listed, I either don't remember where it came from or the item is so common there are lots of places to buy it. Enjoy and thank you for watching. So let's start at the main attraction, my desk. So just have your standard desk set up, monitor, keyboard, mouse, MacBook, PC, acrylic laptop stand, you know, the huge. Over here, I love these pencil cups. They're actually cement. I got those from CB2, love them. Let's go underneath here for a second. You got some cords per usual and there's some shelving underneath this desk there's actually a video of me assembling this desk on my channel so feel free to check that out and then i have my shredder and printer underneath here as well i have this rug here where my chair sits so over here this is a magnetic board I usually have notes and like time sensitive mail up here. There's nothing on the board for the video because if it needs to go on the board, it's not something I can show in the video. Here, camera equipment and other stuff. So tripods, my GoPro, some batteries. Underneath there, you got my blue microphone, um, charging cables. You know, assorted items. So yeah, Let's zoom out here. That is the desk. So I want to come over here to this lamp. In addition to it providing additional lighting for the space, it also has shelving which gives a little bit additional storage, one, two, three shelves. But I wanna call out this display here on the first shelf. I call this my tech of yesteryear display. Let's just go through the items. So in the back here, we have a Texas Instruments TI-83 Plus calculator. I've had that since high school. We all had to get one of those. So over here, we have the Nook from Barnes & Noble. I believe this is the very first generation e-reader that Barnes & Noble came out with. And I have, of course, had that for years. And then here, we got an iPod, oh, iPod, 80 gigs, <laughs> 80 gigabyte iPod. And then here, we have the Garmin GPS. Remember, remember, remember when we didn't have maps on our phones and the cars didn't have GPS's in them. You had to buy a standalone GPS. Where well, here's mine. So yes, I love this. This tech display is one of my favorite things in this room. I love it. So the next thing I want to draw your attention to is the windowsill here. Now, obviously there's not a lot to say about a windowsill, but this here, it's peel and stick tile, which I love. I have been wanting to try peel and stick tile for a while now, and this was a pretty low stakes way for me to go ahead and do that. So yes, I got this peel and stick tile from Lowe's, but of course you can buy it from a bunch of different places. So I really like the way this came out. It just adds a little extra something 
to the room. And since I sit stuff up here and this surface is painted, it's nice to have a barrier um, in between the items and the actual shelf. Love that. And as for what I have sitting up there, got my wax warmer, document scanner, another tripod, my Amazon Basics fan. It does get a little stuffy in this room from time to time, so having a fan in here is great. And yeah, let me zoom in on that. This is gray mist is the color. It'll be linked down below. So we'll swing around here to the lounge area, which is nothing more but a futon and a piece of artwork. So I've actually had this futon for years. I've had a few people spend the night a couple times and sleep on it. I have slept on it myself. It's fine. Um, FYI, the covers, um, the cover and the mattress are replaceable. Um, just FYI. This artwork up here. If this looks familiar to you, it's because this piece used to hang in my living room. But I moved it in here and I actually like it much better in this space. So we have our TV area here. So let's talk about the dresser. Say what you will about Ikea, but I have had this dresser for over 10 years now it has survived several moves. Thank you, Ikea. You have been good to me. <laughs> Just wanted to say that. This dresser has been rolling with me for quite a while now. On top of that, I have a TV. It's a small TV. I forget how big it is, but as you can see, it's quite tiny. Funny story about the TV. I got this at Walmart as an open box special. And when I got it home and took it out of the box, it became very clear why it was an open box special. It's because the legs and the remote were missing. Now the remote was no problem because I just knew that I was gonna plug in a Roku stick into it. And you know, the Rokus come with the remote. So that wasn't a problem. But the legs, you know. So I looked online to see if I could find the exact legs that were needed. Could not, can y'all see those? Possibly, but you can see the top part. <laughs> you can see the top, and there you go. If I move back a little bit, you can see the bottom part of the legs. But yeah, I just went, on, there you go. Just went on Amazon and got some legs for it. And yeah, that is my little TV for this office. Finally, we have the closet that's in this room and there's not, a whole lot going on in here. Just storage, just top. Here's the bottom. So I've got a file cabinet and my luggage. And you may recognize my base mini weekender. I'll link that down below, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed my super realistic home office tour. See you in the next video.